Emma. The spark of my life. My wife's daughter. My dear one. I was just eight years old when your wisely kind and supportive grandfather bought me a movie named Spirit, Stallion of the Camera. The movie was about a Mustang known as Spirit, who was just unapologetically free and courageous enough to fought for what he believed in. And that's how your mom has raised herself. Born in Multan as an elder daughter in a family of conformists, it wasn't exactly easy to stand up for my beliefs and decisions, which were at points a little radical, I guess. Like starting my own YouTube channel. In fact, there were times when I was also tried to be tamed against my decisions of taking a job or hosting an event or even expressing my true feelings and self. Yes, Emma, <laughs> it's not a piece of cake making your own moves in a society where each of your step is critically analyzed and tittle-tattled by half of the society who watches it. But I guess that's how society has been like since the beginning of time. A kaleidoscopic mixture of both yin and yang. So I tell you not to worry about it. Cause your mother will be there for you no matter what. On the other hand now, it's also important to understand that you are no different from the society. You are one with it. With the passage of time, you will get to know that whatever happens by you or around you is happening according to its own very nature. Flowers doesn't bloom and spread their fragrance because they want to impress their recipients or because they want to insecure other florets in the garden. No, <laughs> they blossom because it's in their innate nature. And it's just one small example from the vast symmetry of the cosmic arena where every object, whether as minuscule as a blade of grass or as enormous as sky, behaves in a manner that's imprinted in their essence of being. We humans are just one of the trillions of impressions of the very source of creation equally significant and insignificant in our own comical ways. What makes our co-nature? Mm, well, in the words of the great Carl Sagan, it's star stuff. <laughs> yes, that's what you're made of, Emma. <laughs> but talking from a more worldly point of view now, it's information. Some from the DNA, but most from the society in which we open our eyes and starts to perceive the world. We do it first through impressions, the language, and with that starts an ever-expanding chain of thoughts. And those thoughts are the product of all the situations, conditions, interactions, media, and experiences that we go through which will make us develop certain ideologies and act in a defined fashion. But what are those situations and experiences made by and made of? It's made by you, my child. It's made by people who makes up the society. So whatever you do impacts society and whatever society does impacts every little child. So it's up to you whether to choose fear over faith or let your confidence and determination get the best of you. Whether you choose to be more reactive or make proactiveness and wisdom be your strongest allies. Whether you choose to feel hurt or choose to understand and let go. Whether you complain or take responsibility for yourself and the society like a real superhero. That you are, by the way. <laughs> Whether you actively discriminate 
or act upon the truth that before status color caste profession race and religion comes humanity and also that humans are good and bad not good or bad and then with your example you will influence a great deal of society without even knowing it i love you